Hi, I'm Shannon Dietz. Welcome to Just Show Up Video Blog. Today I have a letter from someone that emailed me a little while back and I wanted to um, bring this up because I feel like it's a topic again that maybe some of you might uh, be interested in or can relate to. So here we go. Hi Shannon. I was starting to lose hope over this past year. My cousin, who is the same age as me, took her own life in December. I also lost two other family members this year to suicide. Three of my four closest friends all moved away in the month of September. I feel like I'm falling away from my faith and I haven't been talking to anyone because all of my friends are gone. Every time I would think about the future, I would start to have a panic attack because I just feel myself alone. So, the point is, when I heard you talk about all that you have been through, I know that it is because of God that you can make it through all of that. And if God could bring you through all of that, I know He can do the same for me. So thank you for sharing. I feel a sense of hope for the first time in a year. As you said, if God brings you to it, He'll bring you through it. Thank you, Shannon. Well, thank you, of course. And I don't share this email to boast about me or anything that I've said. I think the main thing I try to get across when I speak to any audience, whether it be adults or teens, and this one particular letter happens to come from a 20-something adult, um, is just simply that we're all going to go through extreme struggles. And it is so hard when we lose friends for any reason, especially to suicide. I'll never forget losing a very close friend of mine who was in his early 20s and he committed suicide. And we had been friends through college. And I mean, I was even his confirmation sponsor. And to think that you know, he was in such a deep, dark place and there was nothing that I personally could do for him. It was absolutely devastating. And, you know, I remember crying and going to my priest just worried about him and, and just what was to happen because I think that there's a misconception with the Catholic Church that we believe that, um, you know, that they don't go to heaven, which is absolutely not true. And my priest was so wonderful and, you know, he said he was just troubled and he was not in his right state of mind when he made that decision. And so I pray, I pray for the soul of my friend and, and um, you know, but it's just something that has always just been very hard to deal with. So I'm very sorry to you and to those of you who have lost loved ones in that way. And, you know, if you're someone that's in that deep of a depression that feels like that you're so alone or have no one to turn to, know that there is always someone. There is someone in your life. If even you can call the, the 1-800, you know, hotline or, um, you know, go to your nearest priest, go or whatever church that you go to and, and go to them and turn to them. But in regards to this particular letter of this person who feels very alone, um, I know that I have so many young adults that come to me and talk about this issue, that they feel like that they're alone, that no one else you know, that they're just finished college, they don't have that group of friends that surrounds them and is constantly there for them, and they're out in the workforce and they don't feel like that they have this significant um, bond of community around them. And I just say to you, I mean, hold on, um, you know, turn to God in prayer. If anything, allow Him to be that friend. I mean, whether or not you feel crazy doing it, talk out loud, cry, scream, get mad. I mean, do whatever it is that you feel like you need to do in that moment, but know that there always will be a better day. There will be that day that you will meet that next friend and that you'll meet this community of people that you can be with and that will support you. Of course, my advice would be to get involved at your church. You know, no, really, they're not going to say, hey, we need you. You need to go in and say, what is it that I like to do? Do I want to help St. Vincent de Paul? Do I want to help feed the poor? Do I want to help the youth group? Do I, what do I want to do? And get involved in that. And that is how you'll start meeting people, meeting people your own age and meeting others that uh, probably feel the very way, same way that you do. So, you know, 
I guess I just want to reiterate the message apparently that she got earlier um, that I need to hear at times even though I'm married and have kids sometimes we can all feel alone and you're never alone you are never alone God is always with you um, but I validate that feeling and just to know that you know, know that there is always a new day. There is always a new day. And as I said apparently at this conference, and I'll say it to all of you again, if God brings you to it, He'll bring you through it. And maybe this is just a chance for you to grow and to learn to rely on Him. And uh, so I pray that this helps any of you that might be listening, those few 40 or so <laughs> that might get this. But I need more material, so please do write at S. Uh, Shannon. M. Dietz, that's D-E-I-T-Z, at gmail.com. Have a blessed week.